Hi, welcome to Wednesdays with Winnie. I am Winnie Dunn, Distinguished Professor of Occupational Therapy at the University of Missouri. We call our school Mizzou. The faculty at Mizzou are doing really interesting research and you can learn about that work in presentations and publications. Wednesdays with Winnie are designed to highlight evidence-based teaching tips that Mizzou faculty have found to be great options for professional education. They will be quick. You can watch while taking a coffee break and then you can discuss with a peer how you will move away from lectures and into engaged learning. Today we're going to discuss um, discussion boards and how to use them effectively. As online platforms have become more user friendly and we become more savvy as users ourselves, we have to consider what parts of online teaching and learning are effective and discover the best way to use these tools. A common tool in the online platform is the discussion board, which allows people to interact asynchronously. Studies have shown that students who participate in an online discussion board have better performance and outcome measures in those courses, even when faculty monitor but do not post during the discussions. So how can we use discussion boards to foster quality learning? For those of us who entered teaching a while back, the idea of staying out of a discussion field well, how will they know what's important and how can they stay on track without my guidance is what you might say. Well, it turns out that your planning is what does the trick. First, provide guidance about what is acceptable on the discussion board. For example, substantive additions that advance the conversation and no affirmations such as I agree without adding any new information or, or posing challenging uh, questions to the ideas being presented. Ask the students questions that require them to look things up, dig into corners, and ask each other questions. Tell them what outcome you want to see um, the end of the process and let them find their own way. Keep the discussion board focused on meaningful and authentic learning that will prepare them for application or projects or a test. Sometimes while I am monitoring a discussion board, I will privately follow up with a particular student to encourage them to go farther with an idea on the discussion board. This way I am building that student's confidence while advancing the conversation among the students uh, themselves rather than me intervening. When faculty jump in with a brilliant insight, the trail goes cold and that is the opposite of helpful. And how do we evaluate the students' contributions to discussion boards? Your strategy will depend on the purpose of your discussion board. If the discussion is preparatory, you might not grade the post at all because the upcoming test will evaluate the student's understanding of the subject matter. And studies show that students who participate actively in discussion boards do better on tests. If you want to, the students to practice having a lively dialogue and debate, you might use the metrics from your system about frequency of posting combined with your scans about the quality of posts. It's okay to be reasonable with yourself about this. In which class are you going to implement effective discussion boards and who will you tell about this strategy? See you next time. You can find more resources on our website.